Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to Worm Arc, Worm Arc, Worm Arc, Worm Arc, Worm Arc. I'm gonna try to record an extra video today. I also realized we never did the Monday morning shoutouts because ah ito ah ito ble. So we'll do the Monday morning shoutouts right now. We'll do the Monday morning shoutouts, even though it's Tuesday. Is it is it the Tuesday morning shoutouts? Real, real, real. We're gonna do the Monday morning member shoutouts, okay? It's look who it is. It's Earn. It's uh, memberships. It's membership levels. Edit. No, 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 no. It's see your members. It's see your members. All right. So thank you to Isander, Bunny Chan, Violetta, Baker, Funky, Karma, and Horg. Thank you all. And it's the Monday morning shoutouts on Tuesday. Cough. Uh, so we're back with the worm arc. It's we're back with the worm arc. It's the Monday morning shoutouts. I want to get like just like a very obnoxious like it. It's FM eighty five radio, and then multiple air horns, and it's like it's time for Monday morning shoutouts, and it just gets like really loud and obnoxious. And that's just every Monday episode. I want to turn it into a bit. And I am trying to turn it into a bit. Well, we'll work a little bit harder on that. Do I have to put spoilers in the title? It's Look Who is Fatalist. It's Ico Fatalist on Worm Arc. I think this is Ico's first appearance on Worm Arc, but I could be wrong. We've had a Moriko Worm Arc, an Ayaka Worm Arc. Um, we haven't really had any... We've had Yumiko Worm Arc, too, but that was a while ago. We haven't really had many successes in Worm Arc. So here's hoping. Strength, dexterity, knowledge, charisma, second mystery, and light source. It's look who it's light source. Real, real, real. It's look who it's light source. So what I think we're going to do is I think we want the compass. But actually, do we want the compass? I don't know if we want the compass. Maybe we want the tainted violin. Maybe, maybe we want that. You ever think about that? Maybe maybe we want that. You ever, you ever think about that? You, maybe you just you want a you wanna violin that's tainted. You get it for cheap at a at a pawn store best i can do is a thousand dollars and you're like bro this thing new was worth like 500 and you're like no 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 best i can do is a thousand how much is a violin violin typing violin does not get you like a, a violin online <laughs> No, like, to, to buy a violin. How much does a violin cost? A Mendini by Cecilio. Violin for beginners, $94. How much does a violin cost? Music theory. But that's just a theory. A music theory. Thanks for watching. So, beginner violins, 100 to 500. Intermediate violins, 600 to 2,000. Professional violins, 2,000 plus. So, yeah, okay. I don't know why we went off on this tangent. Uh, you ever have a moment where you should be asleep, and then you get, like, flashbanged, and you're like, all right, it's an all-nighter. We, we, we do a little bit of trolling as a treat. Occasionally, just as a treat. This is the drip. How the hell do we get this as an unlockable outfit? Like, come on, come on. All right, it's time for Worm Arc. Is it time for Worm Arc? I don't think I, I don't think she's a threat. I think we need a new image, a new image for being absolutely one hundred percent gobsmacked. And I think I have just found it right here, right now. We are. It's look who it is. I don't have an image that says it's look who it is. I'm sorry. I I actually just have one of the worst images I've ever seen in my life. This is obviously made wide, but this is a photo from the like pre-production stage or like production stage, like when they're making the movie. 
That was, I believe, from the live-action Clifford the Big Red Dog, and that thing has haunted me every time I open that folder and see that image. That's horrible. That's awful. Like, they really did have to create a nightmare hell beast just to... It's... Look who it is. So this is something, right? This is something, too. Like, the, these are these are real things because they have, like, specifics. Is this, like, noisy nails or whatever? I don't know. We're, we're going with the random... Plus one percent for each active mystery. It's sailors. We're sailing. Catch me sailing. It's hallucinations and Innsmouth look. We're going to the occult store. We're buying. I mean, we do have a knowledge check. So, I mean, I guess we can just buy this. But, like, you know, I, I wanted to actually buy, like, you know, a tainted violin and then just kick things to death, I think. I think that would have been fun. We could have gotten four kicks off. It would have been a, a nice little treat. Uh, instead... We will, honestly, something that you can do, we, we, our money got stolen, so it literally doesn't matter, but literally something that you can do is you could throw away your money to try and bait out a jar of blood if you're trying to buy something, which is actually kind of nutty. Like, that that's kind of tech. I don't really know many situations you'd use it in, but that's that's something that I'm I'm actively comprehending. That's something that I'm thinking about. You continue to change. Oh, we got Innsmouth looked. I was like, do we have badly bleeding? Was I just not paying attention? It's like, no. Uh, we're actually... I, I want to keep the sewing kit so badly. I want to keep the sewing kit so badly. Just pray to God, please. Oh, no. Why do I hear boss music? This guy is hard. If you can believe... Th this guy is hard, and he goes hard. If you can believe it. I don't even know if, like told him you were living right like we we gotta we gotta do some sh movement here we, we we got some stuff to to work on here i mean we can guarantee kill him next turn so it's like fine but like actually i'm dumb as hell why 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 would i even say words like, like, literally, why would I say those words? Like, why would I bring upon this... 60% chance, by the way. Why would I bring these cursed words upon this land? What am I doing? This is Wormark, baby. Oh, good. Blood Moon. I'm a big fan of that. I wanted to get the Tainted Violin, and now I'm just kind of like, I want to live. And we're not feeling too good. You know, th this is something special, and this is something special, so we're gonna click that. It's, look who has spells. And this is Coma, this is great. This is wonderful. We're, we're out here living, we're feeling great about that. And by that, I mean we're feeling horrible. We're in absolute agony. I was re-watching, this is gonna be the pivot of a lifetime, okay? I was re-watching Parasite the Maxim, Maximim, Maxim, M-A-X-I-M, the, the newest rebranding of HBO. Um... So I've been I've been rewatching that, and I got to the scene where the girl, or the, the girl where she has, okay, 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 okay. We 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 live those. We do live those, where the girl she has um like her older brother works as like a sketch artist, or like he he works as like an investigator, and he does like the sketch, like the like the sketch, like you know when like the police are interviewing somebody, and they're like, hey, could you describe the person who did the crime? And then they draw the person who did the crime, and it's like, how's this? And then you're like, no, 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 it looked a little bit different. And I was like, oh, how's this? It's like, yeah, there you go. It looked like that. Um, and she hears about the, the man-eating aliens, and she basically just thinks to herself, okay, okay. I want to give him a chance. The 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 man-eating alien that isolates its prey in a in a environment where its prey cannot get away away from prying eyes i'm going to meet with him privately in an area that nobody knows i'm not going to tell anybody and i'm going to put my own life at risk and everybody in the crunchyroll comments section and this was me as well i i, I had already liked these uh comments from when i watched this series like literally almost a decade ago because crunchyroll says it came out in 2014 or at least it released on crunchyroll in 2014 right um we do a little research as a treat do we? Do we? No, 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 we don't do that. The village is doomed. We don't do that. And so that's, you know, that's how long Crunchyroll says it was a long time ago. And the comments say, like, nine years ago, which is crazy. 
Uh, and I liked all these comments. It's like, you know, Darwin Award goes to this dumb idiot. But there's some important levels of context here. One, she is literally like a, a high school kid. She is like not, you know, like she is not the smartest person in the world. And she is also a high schooler. So it's like, yeah, of course, she's going to make a dumb decision. Also, she thinks the guy's hot. So like she wants to give him a chance. But here's the thing. In the very next episode, because it ends on the cliffhanger of, uh, of her going to confront the man-eating parasite alien that's going to kill her, she actually comes completely prepared, and she lives through her own merit. And that is something that I did not give the series enough credit for when I first watched it. Because, like, obviously you want the main character to beat the shit out of the bad alien, right? The the bad, uh, the bad parasitic alien from outer space that's hijacking people's bodies, you know? You, you want the main character to defeat the parasite, right? Here's the thing. This is a character who comes to her own conclusions after doing her own investigation. She's a side character. She doesn't... She talks to the main character, don't get me wrong, but she's like... You know, she's a side character, she's not involved in the, like, you know, the love triangle that that one telepath girl really wants to make happen. And she's just sort of, like, a character who exists on her own, and she literally just, like, says... Like, she finds out about the existence of the aliens herself, without her brother, and then she asks her brother about it, and then her brother's like, yeah, they're really dangerous, be careful. And then she goes to confront one... And she, I mean, she doesn't win, but, like, each spell learned, each injury? Okay, okay, we're getting lucky on the rolls here. She doesn't win, because if she tried to fight it, she would die, because these things are incredibly dangerous. The, the, the parasites, you know, they, they morph into, like, steel blades that can move faster than the human eye can track them. Watch Parasite the Maximum if you haven't already. I'm, I'm freely spoiling it, because it is a show from... It is a show, literally from aeons ago, you know what I mean? Like, it's an ancient entity. It's almost a decade old, and also the manga is even older. It's a very good adaptation, it's very good. Uh, but, you know, she confronts this thing, and she lives, and she isn't even saved by the protagonist. The protagonist storms off to save her, but he, not, he doesn't get there in time, and... He also doesn't really, like, he has focus on somebody else. He's trying to save somebody else from the rampage of the parasite, right? But she is basically cornered. She's on the fourth story building, or the fourth story floor of her school. She's cornered by this man-eating monster that could kill her in the blink of an eye. And she clutches. She actually clutches through, like, just her, like, just her, right? And it's like, I'm gonna be real with you, that's pretty based, like, honestly. How often have you watched a show where, the char where like, a character does something stupid and then they're punished, even though they're, like, a smart character, right? Like, a smart character does something, and they, and it's a stupid idea, but they do it, and then they get punished. But, like, you could think, well, you know, they're really smart, they shouldn't have put themselves in that situation. She is a really smart character. She finds out that the that the parasites are real on her own. She confirms it with her brother. And then because she wants to have some faith in the world that the world isn't horrible, she's like, yeah, we'll, we'll give the... Well, I'll give the transfer student a, a, a chance, you know? I'll give I'll give him a chance to, to prove that he's not evil. Because, you know, maybe maybe nobody's heard out the parasites. You know, maybe, maybe the, the squiggly little... Uh, blade guys who slice you in the blink of an eye, you know? I I've never seen them do that. And, you know, she wants to give them a chance. She does. And then, when the guy tries to kill her, she's like, okay, alright. I'm, I'm doing my plan. I'm doing my plan. And she does it, and she lives entirely on her own. I, I thought that was really cool. I, I You don't see many shows give, like, side characters that sort of, like, you know, arc. And, you know, like, God bless her. You know, if aliens, like, descended from the... Uh, like, if aliens descended from the, the stars and landed and... Well, I guess this doesn't isn't really an apt comparison, but, like, 
you want aliens to be cool, right? Like, you want aliens to be cool, chill, hanging out with humanity, and you're like, oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. You know, it, listen, listen, you play Mass Effect, I play Mass Effect. Did you, did you romance Jacob? Did you romance Miranda? Probably not. Probably not, I'm just saying. And then I'm thinking of the two from Mass Effect 1. Who are the who are the two dorks from Mass Effect 1? And then you choose who to save and who to die. I don't remember them. I'm gonna be honest with you. I liked the guy. I, I liked both of them. I, I, I've played through Mass Effect 1 so many times, but like I they, those two were like the least used. I just remember them from the tutorial mission, that's all. But um you know, she she tries to give the the man eating parasite monster a chance and you know as the audience we know that's dumb right like we know like oh yeah this thing's gonna this thing's gonna kill you because why why would you do that idiot but she doesn't know that she tries to give him a chance he tries to kill her and you know what lady's got the paint thinner she she's ready she's ready she's locked and loaded and god bless her it works and she gets out alive and I genuinely think that is, a, like, a really, really cool part of the storytelling. Because you don't really see a character come to, like, a side character who is not central to the overall plot, right? Who is just, who, they just kind of exist. They're a character. They're in the background. They're a character that you know the name of. They're a character who, you know, like, exists in the story and they show up frequently. But they're not, like, you know, a main character. They She doesn't. Like, I, I don't at least remember how much she directly affects the plot. Or, not the plot, but, like, the main character, you know? Because it's about the main character. But, like, how many shows have you seen where you get into a situation where it's, like, a side character does something stupid, it causes an incident, the main character has to resolve that incident? Which is what happened here, right? But the difference is... This is gonna do 8, so 16, so that's not good enough. We're, we're kind of in hell. I, I don't know if you realize that. Like, we're, we're just kind of in hell. So we, we run these back. But also, it's like, what are we even doing here? Um, I don't know. I almost want to run. Like, I'm going to have to rest after this, like, 80 times, you know? But we take them down to 14. Then what what can we do, right? We can't buff that up twice. We have to do that. We have, we have to do a 72% sev a, a chance. So it's like, I mean, I, I guess that's the way to go, right? But if we miss the 72% chance, we lose. I don't really like that. What if we dodge these? Let me take them down to 14. Honestly, we're in for a penny, in for a pound. We we win these. We We absolutely win these. You'll love to see it. But yeah, no, I just I just think it's genuinely really cool. Because, like, yeah, everybody's, like, expecting her to die. Oh, God, we can't rest. Okay, we, we can rest after this. We can rest after this investigation. We can rest after this investigation. We win these. We win these. We win these. Thank God it's Doll Nurse. The day Doll Nurse actually attacks you is the day that I cry. We do kind of need these items out of our inventory, right? What do we have? Misery Parasite? Active Curse? Spell and Injury. That's so weird. But, like, genuinely speaking, like, I'm trying to think of something that's not Durara, where a side character does something, and that's like, this affects the plot, the side character did something stupid, they got punished for it, but the main character didn't have anything to do with it. Like, I'm kind of thinking, like, Hunter Hunter. Like, the Chimera Ant arc does this, too, where, spoiler alert for one of the, you know, my favorite anime arcs of all time. They, listen, if you have not seen, like, the Chimera Ant arc is... I have cried literally every single time I've watched the Chimera Ant arc. I know what happens. There are two scenes that break me every single time, okay? The Chimera Ant arc is a, a goddamn piece of art, true and real. And we're just gonna spam heal there. We're just gonna spam heal here. Because the worm has been pretty nice. The worm's been pretty nice recently. So, the, the Chimera Ant arc does this really, really well as well. Because... What is his name? Meruem? Meruem? The, the king, right? The king is the villain of the Chimera Ant arc. But he never interacts with 
the main character gone at all. Like, literally never. They never meet. They don't know each other. They, they don't have a relationship with each other. The main character of Hunter x Hunter and the main villain of the Chimera Antarch, who is one of the best villains in the, in the series, they never meet. They never interact, right? And so you have characters who are not main characters, who are not central. Well, they become central to the plot because, you know, that's just sort of how the Chimera Antarch is written. But you know what I mean, right? We take these. Did we lose Doom for that? I guess we did. Oh, we, we, we succeeded, actually. We succeeded the luck check. I just assumed that would fail. I would really like to get Fast Swimmer because it feels like everything that we're doing is copium until we get Fast Swimmer. Like, literally everything we do is cope until we get Fast Swimmer. I think you just run here. Like, what do you want me to do? Yeah, we, we run these. We run these, and then we're... Oh, sorry. Suddenly, somewhere, Emmerdale seems to have disappeared. We'll go back to it as soon as we can once we've found it. Okay, we're back. Just a, just a mini Emmerdale to cleanse the soul. But yeah, like, I'm just thinking of Hunter x Hunter as, like, the only thing that can really, like, step up to that. You know what I mean? Because it's very rare for a show or a book or a manga or a comic, you know, comic manga. Some people are going to get mad when I say those things are similar, but it's literally just, like, they're, this, they're the same medium, but, you know, just different regions. Um, but, you know, like, cartoons, animated shows, anime movies, made-for-TV movies. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. But, uh, you know, it's like, I, I'm trying to think of franch- not, well, franchise is the wrong word. But, like, media properties that are okay with letting- Nightmare of Noisy Nails. Okay. I'm trying to think of, like- Media properties, stories, 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 stories. Sorry, I have content brain. I have content brain. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to think of stories that are like the plot can be moved forward by characters who are not the main character, and the resolution to the problems that happen because of these side characters or that are initiated by these side characters that these are all a resolved entirely by the side characters. But B, the side characters actually, like, you know, they, they, they work. Like, they, like, it's very difficult for me to put it into perspective, but, like, just the fact that they're so confident in the story and the world building that it can be like, okay, the protagonist is doing this, but it's not really important to the story. So let's go focus on this. And this is a side character who doesn't really have a lot going on. And this is the culmination of their sort of, like, character arc. I don't even remember how much more relevance she has in the show. Because, to be honest, I actually completely forgot about this. Like, I remember that she faced the, the parasite alone. But she actually, like, in her own way, wins. Because she accomplishes everything that she sets out to do. And she takes the, the price that she was willing to pay for it, which is uh, falling into a tree and getting hurt. But, like, still, I, I think that's really... We're running away from this. We're, we, we run from these, and then we use the monument. We run from these, then we use the monument. It seems horrible, but, like, that's just sort of the way to go. That's just sort of the way to go. We alert these. We alert these! We alert these, chat. But, you know, Parasite the Maxim is really good. And... You might think, like, oh, did you just spoil a significant portion of it? I spoiled, like, one episode. Well, like, one episode's worth of, like, runtime. Because it's, like, the episodes are pretty well condensed, actually. Like, I think they're trying to get, like, a lot. Like, I think they're trying to get, like, a lot done here. We sneak these? Oh, we do not sneak these. Chat, can we d defeat a Mystery 4 boss at 6 stamina? Do you think we could have, like, a, a chance to hit that's, like, not absolute dog? Like, by any chance, do you think we could maybe, maybe get some sort of semblance of anything going on here? We should be able to guarantee kill them this time. Because that's going to do... Yeah, that's, that's going to do eight. That's going to do eight. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Not even going to prepare to use the handcuff tech. So, oh crap, I wasn't paying attention to the worm. Ah, oh, crap, the worm got larger. 
It was the money? The worm, listen, the worm is anti-banter, okay? I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. The worm is anti-banter. Adding five things that I need to keep track of is impossible content. Oh my god, we got seven? That's knight errant levels of bad? Oh. the I can't complain. The worm was being really nice to us for like the entire run. The worm was being really nice. You... You gotta let the worm take these sometimes. So we gotta get rid of the money, and we gotta get rid of the money. That, that's what we gotta do, right? You gotta get rid of the money, you gotta get rid of the money. You gotta get rid of the money, the money. Get rid of the money, remember the money. Get rid of the money, or else you die. And you probably die anyways, because you forgot initially. But maybe we could maybe spin this if people will believe, okay? If people will believe the spin, okay? That by we continue looking at these? 2% Doom's a little sketchy. So this is the final mystery. So it's actually, if we remember to play around the worm, it's actually not that bad. It, I would love to take Boreal Expanse here. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. I would love to take this, though. We break bones here. We break bones here. So how do we want to play this? Like, if I can use the monument again, which is impossible, we can never use it. Oh, crap. This is Akamanto. <laughs> we lose these? No way. Do we have an injury thing for the worm? Let's see. Active injury. And a Oh, we have injuries. And curses. This is not great, actually. Very not good. I think you're gonna hate me here. We rely on the lump of flesh. Okay, so we gotta we gotta get rid of injuries. We got to we gotta do a lot here. And we don't have a lot of doom to do it on. But we do have Akamanto, so like, you know. So this is 2% Doom by keeping this. So we're going to keep it because it's 4% Doom otherwise. We can't get rid of any of this. So you have to get rid of this. And this takes both of your whatever the hex, you know. We're feeling pretty good about that. We have no money. But we're still taking 80 million. Okay, we can reduce this by 6. Okay, we can reduce this by 6. But we're still getting owned by the curses, so we need to be a little bit careful. We need to be a little bit, just a little bit careful. Does this count as an injury? It counts as a treatment. Okay. Okay, we have to go these. Like, this is non-negotiable, okay? So, first of all, let's enter. No, we can't do that. We can't do that. We can't do that. We have to do it like this. And then that's going to add a new thing, which is going to do a new thing to us, which is pretty bad. We're not okay with those. Three stamina, he's going to do four. So we won't live. Misery Parasite, 8%. That's rough, buddy. That's rough. We have a lot of curses. Is it 2% for even for each active curse? It's 1%, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4. What's the extra 8% coming from? Like, we have 2% from our inventory, so that's 6. What's the other thing? What's the other thing? Active injury? We don't have any active injuries. Do we have any spells? Did we learn a spell? No. Do we have any money? No. Do we have... Yeah, this should just be six, and we should be able to get this down to four. So I'm a little bit confused right now. But what we're gonna do, pretty simply, pretty shrimply, is uh, pray to God that we hit one of these attacks. And then... You just want to handcuff, right? Like, you just you, you just want to do handcuff meta, I think. Because this guarantee works. It, well, it doesn't guarantee work, because I have to, you know... You know... I have to time it properly. I hate this, dude. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate timing it properly. Okay, 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 okay. I wish there was, like, a hotkey for launching your freaking attack or something, you know? Okay, 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 okay. We win, we win, we win. Oh, we were desperation. We were using desperation. I didn't need to do that. Oh, the crestfallen mask got in our inventory, dude. Oh. 
Could we equip that before the mystery rolls over? I genuinely don't know. That's crazy, bro. So we're taking uh, minus six, minus five. Is that right? Minus six, minus five. Does that sound about right? Because we're taking strength and dex. So like... Do we even have light source? I don't remember. Oh god, I don't remember our second mystery either. Was this throwing? Oh shoot, it is throwing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh crap, it is. Oh crap. Oh, we have Innsmouth look too? Dude, bro, 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 it's over. It's never been more over. Do we have Heart of Darkness? Please tell me we don't. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're Actually, we're not good, okay, because we can get Innsmouth looked. We can get Innsmouth looked to death. Okay, so minus three, minus six. So we need to rest once, but we can get Innsmouth looked to death, okay? We can get Innsmouth looked to death. So we rest, you, you rest once, okay? You rest once. And then you pray to God you don't get Innsmouth looked. If you lose stamina at any point, you're dead. Well, I mean, besides, you know, if, if you know, if we don't really have a lot of room to work with here. So we're just kind of like, told him you were living. Also, we have to get the second thing right, which is like, ugh. Please don't, please don't. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. We live these, we live these, we live these. We have to get the second thing right? Oh, jeez. What was our second mystery? Oh, God. Oh, no. What was it? So it wasn't Noisy Nails. Noisy Nails was third. The first mystery we did was Sailors. The second mystery we did was... Oh, crap. It was Ward. It was Ward. It was Ward. It was Ward. It wasn't Ward! What was our second mystery? I'm going crazy. What was our first mystery? I remember Ward because I was- I remembered Coma and I was like, Oh my god, did we do Noisy Nails second? No way. Oh, man. Okay, so we literally would have won if I remember that mystery check. So, you count it as a loss, but you realize that we played, like, well enough to win. It's just that I don't write down my second mystery. Uh, because of some, like, arbitrary rule that nobody's ever told me about or enforced. It's just something that I was, like, too lazy to do, and so I was like, yeah, 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 it's a challenge run, it's a challenge run, it's a challenge run. Um, what was our second mystery? Hold on, let's let's walk it back, let's walk it back. So, I'm, like, 99% sure that Sailors was first, because I remember fighting the boss and being like, aw, oh, oh, crap. And so, then, was it really Coma second? Because I remember getting the the letter sleep event in coma and being like nah we don't we're not going back to the hospital we don't need this so it, it had to have been noisy nails no 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 there's no way i am so hold on hold on i since we emmerdale this i'm actually gonna look i'm actually gonna look it doesn't matter anymore we lost so you can you can forgive me this this indulgence but like i gotta know i'm, I'm going a little brazy here what on earth was our second like, let's see, let's see, let's see. False web? Okay, no, no, I paused it in time. So our first mystery... Can I see? No, false web, false web, false web. Get him out of here, zero percent. So our first mystery... Was Sailors. It was Sailors. So let me let me skip a skip ahead, skip ahead a little bit. We're fighting the seeping apostle. It was coma? Okay, no, I just got that completely wrong. Alright, it was coma. I I thought it was worrying ward. But no, it was indeed coma. That's totally my bad. I remember we did a hospital mystery second, and I was like, nah, nah, nah. We don't need to let her sleep. And I could have swore we got that in coma. But um maybe we just got unlucky and went back to ward. Could I have figured that out if I went through the thought process of it? Because it's like, the only thing that I really remember about Ward was that we were low health, we had to rest. But we were low health for pretty much the entire run because of the first boss fight. So that could be the second mystery, that could be the third mystery. And we got Doll Nurse. That, that's pretty much all I remember, we ran from it. Like, oh man, that's tough, that's tough. Uh, also, if we played around Misery Worm, we wouldn't have lost as well. This is the Worm Arc, everybody. Don't you just love the Worm Arc? I love the Worm Arc. This is great. I I, I don't think we've ever gone on this like hard of a losing streak. 
but we'll we'll get it eventually. The worm the worm is anti banter, but we'll we'll get there eventually. Eventually, the worm will just be back in my mind. I'll be able to play around all of it at once without even thinking about it, being like, oh yeah, we're on worm by the way. So we need to play around our active curses. We got this. We got this. We got this. The the worm arc has bright a bright future ahead. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Webweaver. We'll see you on the next episode. I I we have to get Zectas down. We have to get. It's not Zectas, it's Alzal. I don't know why I get those two confused. It's the radioactive worm moment. Anyways, go watch Parasite the Maximum. It's really good. And, okay, no, you're, here's the thing. Your, your real call to action is not to watch Parasite the Maximum. I would recommend it if you want to watch it because it's really good. But your call to action is to, you know, comment on the video down below. Because, you know, that, you know, algorithm boosts, boosting and all that. Thank you so much. Stay safe out there. Bye.